Hi, welcome to our daily encounter. Today in Acts chapter 22, we read of Paul's account of his conversion to Christianity. If you remember, Paul was very antagonistic against the Christian faith. Uh, he was dragging people out of their homes and throwing them into prison for their faith in Jesus Christ. And he was actually on his way to Damascus to do that very thing when he encounters Jesus Christ himself. And and Christ comes to him in this bright light and there's this conversation between him and Jesus and Jesus tells him go into Damascus and he'll be told you what you should do and so he goes to Damascus and there's this man by the name of Ananias and Ananias um, teaches him uh, what he must do and this is what he tells him in verse 16 he says now why do you delay get up and be baptized and wash away your sins Calling on his name. Talk, talking about calling on Jesus' name. And the part that we want to focus on in our devotion today is that part, why do you delay? And the closest application to this story that we can make is perhaps you are in a situation uh, like Paul. Maybe you come from a, a sinful background. Uh, we all come from a sinful background, so um, that pretty much describes all of us. But uh, maybe you've come from a sinful background and you've heard the word of truth. You know that Jesus can save you from your sins. You know that if you would but turn to him, you could have your sins forgiven. You could have your sins washed away, as Ananias tells uh, Paul here. And yet you delay, and you wait, and you wait. And there's many different reasons why people delay. Um, it might be because of family members. It might be because of peer pressure. Uh, it might be because of uh, fear of having to give up something that you, that you love. Uh, who knows? There might be a lot of things that are causing uh, different people to delay. But the thing is, is that this same word that Ananias gave Paul is the word that I would give you today. Why do you delay? Why delay? What can you give in exchange for your soul? Jesus once said. What can you give in exchange for your soul? What is so valuable that you would lose your soul, your eternal destiny, over? Why would you delay? Why would you wait? You know, none of us are guaranteed tomorrow. None of us are really guaranteed the next five minutes. Um, death is always lurking around the corner. Uh, Jesus could come again at any moment. Uh, we just don't know what our lives will be like in the next moment, in the next day, in the next week, in the next year. So we got to make take advantage of the present and take it, take advantage of the fact that we are alive today and that we have a chance to make a choice and to make the right choice to turn to Jesus, to arise and be baptized and wash away our sins, calling on his name calling on the name of the Lord and so if you're in that situation I would just encourage you don't delay don't delay any longer don't put it off come to Jesus today but now I'd like to turn the attention to the Christian uh, just when you thought maybe you were getting off the hook now there's instances where even us as Christians delay sometimes we procrastinate and the things that we know that God wants us to do. Maybe we delay in dealing with sins that we've committed after turning to Christ. Uh, after we uh, have turned to the Lord and we begin to walk with Him, uh, temptation might have come and we might have been drawn away into sin and sin may have enticed us and pulled us in. But we stay in that place and we stay and we stay and we stay and the question for us is the same as what the question was for Anna, uh, for Paul by Ananias why do you delay get rid of that sin repent turn back to the Lord confess your sins to him first John chapter 1 says that if we confess our sins he is he is faithful to cleanse us from all unrighteousness God will cleanse us but we got to turn back to him and repent of those sins and deal with those sins and make right if we've wronged other people. Do it today. Do not delay. But there also might be some things that you know that the Lord is, is calling you to do. 
maybe you you know with deep within your heart that you should be joining yourself to a local church uh, and and participating with other Christians in the faith and but you say you know what? well maybe next week we'll go to church or the next week why do you delay make plans today to do it to to do what you know in your heart is the right thing to do or it might be in exercising some type of gift or talent that God has instilled within you or maybe there's some need that has been weighing on your heart that you know that you could help out and that you could um, you know come to the aid of why do you delay so much is lost in our Christian walk on tomorrow <laughs> We throw it to tomorrow, we throw it to next week, we throw it to next month. And pretty soon we realize that, you know, it's not going to happen. It never happens. Why do we delay? We've got to do it today. So whatever your situation is, if you have not accepted Christ, uh, or if you have accepted Christ, and, and some of these things that we described, or maybe some other things uh, that were not brought up, um, are things that you know you need to be doing why delay? Do it today. So as we do our reading today, as we leave our reading, as we leave this video, let's make a commitment today to start doing the things that we know the Lord wants us to do and start today. So with that, I thank you guys for listening in. I hope you guys have a great day. I love you guys. God bless.